Hello, welcome to Database of the Week. This week we're going to be covering Web of Science. I'm Todd Quinn from the University of New Mexico University Libraries. So Web of Science is a large index of science, social science, and arts and humanities. But you can also use the drop-down menu, see that there's other indexes here as well. For example, Biosis, Medline, etc. And what I'm going to show you works in all of them. So you can perform a search like normal. So here's my search on Colorado River. And I get my normal results. Nothing in here is full text, but the Find It buttons next to every article to help you find it elsewhere. But what makes this database so unique compared to anything else is these two numbers here on the right side. The references will link you to the, all the articles and citations they used to write this article. So you're sort of going backwards in time. And the six will tell you who cited this work. So for everything that's indexed here, those two numbers appear. You know, some get zero citations, but that's okay. So if I selected, say, the 57 references, you'll notice those numbers show again. So for every time you get to a citation, you can go backwards and forwards. And that really helps um, show the um, connection between all the literature. The other thing that makes this a unique database is on the left side, you have all these facets. And some of the facets you don't see elsewhere. For example, of this search, I can see who are the funding agencies for these search results. So then I can pick that and see all the articles that have been funded by, say, the NSF. And then I can peruse those for ideas. And you can do that for the other uh, search indexes here as well. So using Web of Science really allows you to see the whole literature of a topic over time. Um, one other thing that you can do here, if I perform that search again, on the right side, where it says Analyze at the very top, Analyze Results, it provides some visualizations of your search results as well. So there's a lot of good um, tools here that allow you to see the literature over time.